Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, and before we start today's video, um, Residual is on Kickstarter since Tuesday. We're currently at 20% uh, funded in the first couple of days, so that's that's extremely cool, but there's still a long way to go. Uh, link is in the description below. Please check it out, see if that's uh, something you like. There's a demo available to play. So check it out, and um, let's start the video. All right, hey, so let's talk about melons for this one and i know that if you start smelling it and you can press this part and it's softer than it usually is you can eat it um for this one i have no idea when it's ripe i asked the woman at the grocery store she said to knock on it and then you'll hear a different kind of sound but i've been knocking on it all week every day and i still have no idea when it's ripe so I um, think I'll just continue knocking it for the rest of the week and um, hopefully at some point it will give me a sign that it's ripe and ready to be eaten. Some weeks productivity is not a friend and um, it's out the door it's gone it's not available it's not on the schedule it's on holidays this was one of those weeks and not so much that i didn't want to work on stuff i had a bunch of things i wanted to work on uh, code wise but every time i got into code i had to go out for different kind of things uh, appointments and phone calls whatever i got distracted every time and then when you try to go back into the code after such a distraction you're basically starting all over again or you're staring at stuff that's really not working and it was messy. Of course, I'm also making these weekly videos, which is a good thing in this case because it means I really have to force myself to work on something that can be shown in these videos because it makes it a lot easier to do videos if you have something to show. Otherwise, I could do podcasts, but I never do podcasts. Anyway, um, my solution was pretty simple. I've been staring at this game for a couple of months now and have been showing it for a couple of months now and we need some new graphics. So uh, the whole planet graphics you've been seeing right now, the background, the, uh, the tiles you walk around on, that's just one graphic set and um, I could do with an alternate version, just a completely different planet, completely different look. So um, let's post some pixels around. I haven't done one of those videos for a while now. Now there are two other positive things coming from doing a completely different graphic set. Uh, one, I can show it as marketing. So there's new planet, new graphics. The game looks suddenly very fresh and interesting to um, other people. Uh, so more marketing stuff and material will come from this. And the second, um, I've been looking at these graphics for about two months now. I can really use some new fresh graphics to look at because I've been looking at it all day, every day. And uh, let's just create a new planet, some new graphics. And uh, let's do that up in the studio because uh, all these guys want to go get some sleep. So, um, all right, guys, go sleep. I'll go work for you guys. All right, um, so in this game, my background is created from a tile set. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, compare it to the bathroom floor or bathroom wall. All these tiles, they make up the wall. And um, in a game, the whole background is created from tiles. So uh, the more variation in tiles, the more variation in the background. For residual, the tile set, every tile is built up in layers. So there are uh, sometimes up to three layers that define a single tile, which is an interesting thing I came up with and um, it looks pretty interesting and it's much easier to create variation that way. So let's just start with the base layer, um, the stone layer as I like to call it. Let's dive in. So the first thing I do is create nine tiles and um, they are placed in such a way that they're together combined, they create a much bigger block and you can then always expand that block into a bigger sizes. So you can expand it horizontally, vertically, in any direction, but you'll always be able to have a different tile for every corner and edge of such a block. So uh, that's uh, nine tiles, which will be the core and the base that we're working with. Um, I'm also using a palette that I defined, and this is the same palette I used in Space Grunts 2. It's um, very colorful, but it also has a, a focus on a blue and orange, or a teal and orange, which is a look they use a lot in movies and cinema. 
it's just a very natural combination to have those colors and it really looks very cool that's why i made the first tile set very uh, orangey here and there and and have a lot of blue backgrounds but for this planet i have to uh, spread my wings and find some other color combinations that work staying within that palette so why have i just limited myself to this small palette um it first of all lets all your graphics look very consistent they have the same color types uh, the same palette it, it really creates one world um, the second reason is that limiting yourself to colors makes you more creative when drawing stuff if you have to stick to certain colors you'll draw and color it differently than you would normally if you have just all the colors available so it, it adds some creativity to my graphics and and how it all looks and it, it really creates a certain look just limiting yourself to a palette So now that we have this basic first layer, uh, let's see how it looks in the game because um, it might look great in a paint program or art program. It's often in the game with everything going around and everything moving and, and lighting effects, it might just uh, be disappointing. So we're gonna try it out first. So it didn't look that bad, I kind of like it and of course we're gonna layer it so um, for now I'm sticking with it and we're just gonna add the first layer which is the grass layer but of course since it's an alien planet grass doesn't have to be green so let's just find a complementary color for purple or something that, that really looks okay with it and um, see what we can come up with. I just showed you the phase of creating this and um, I'll just show you how it looks in the game. I could do a spoiler now, I'm not happy with how it looks. So let's just, let me just show you how it looks in the game, here we go. So sometimes the planet is a hot planet and we have a red background, so that doesn't really help the current graphics, but even without all the red in the background, I'm not really digging this. I know it's it should be grass and it's it doesn't have to be green, but this is a little bit too much. And sometimes this happens, um, I'll be pushing graphics all day and then it might just not be what I want. At the end of the day, I might have done three or four versions and it's still not what I want. That's just a creative process. Luckily, there are tools in art programs. Um, we can quickly recolor this and see if it makes sense in another color. Let's recolor the dirt, recolor the grass and, and just come up with something that looks better because this is a very, this is a lot of a trial and error and uh, right now it's a lot of error. So, um. But eventually I did come up with a interesting color scheme, something that does work uh, or at least I'm not against it for now. So um, this is what I came up with. For now this works and it's still not perfect, it's not where I want it to be, uh, it's not, I, there's something wrong with it, I just can't really put my finger on it, so for now I let this be and uh, focus on the other stuff that needs to be created because uh, we also have flowers um, and stuff that grows out of the tile set, on top of the tile set, so uh, let's just create some uh, flora and see, we'll get back to these tiles later on. In residual, a lot of the stuff you see on screen is actually part of the tile map uh, instead of being an entity or a creature or, or something. It's really just a static image being rendered on the screen, which has a lot of advantages. It's uh, very fast because nothing has to be calculated or done. 
it's just static stuff uh, part of the image it's only drawn if the player is there or if it's on in the camera range and of course i don't have to place all these flowers and, and thingies by hand because the level generator takes care of all of that so uh, i just have to draw it make it look good and then be amazed by whatever the world generator creates for me later on so i'm creating some flowers here and there so it took me some time to wrap my head around just creating different type of flowers because it all has to be it has to be planet and alien so it doesn't have to look like flowers that we know it just have to look interesting in the world and environment around it so i'm um, coming up with strange shapes and, and flowery type shapes and colors and it's very colorful that's because of the palette but um, i kind of like it right now i had this with space grunts too as well very colorful very interesting and it really pops and the only problem is not to overdo it because then it could really pop and nobody would like that on the screen. So that's all the recording I did for all the pixel art I created. Um, when I'm doing code, it's very difficult to leave and get back and get into it. But when you're doing graphics and art, it can actually be a good thing to just a step away for a while and then get back a few hours later with a fresh head, fresh eyes and look at it and um, do a lot of changes basically if until if it still looks okay if you look at it the next day then it's good and if it uh, looks terrible the next day then you'll have to do it all over again that's that really my rule i often draw things uh, on one day look at it again the next day and if i don't like it it's it's all been for nothing i'm just gonna do it all over again or just delete it and do it some other day but if i like it the next morning that's usually a very good sign and uh, keep it in the game in this case uh, most of it was okay but i i did some changes and tweaks here and there it also needed a new uh, background layer as you can see there's a big background uh, layer parallax layer behind the tile set that needed completely redesigned because these are for the first planet and we now have a different type of planet so different type of background that took a lot more work i did that last night in the evening and that just works a lot better if i'm not recording and i'm also watching tv and stuff so long story short this is how it looks now in the game and if you've been following me on insta or twitter or whatever you've already seen parts of this but uh, here it is a new planet is born for residual Right, and that's a new planet born, I guess, in the universe of Residual. Um, I might, I probably create a few more of these alternate versions, different planets, and then at some point I'll create very easy ones by mixing and matching. For example, this purple with the green from planet one, um, and maybe the dirt from planet three that I still have to create, and that way I can create a bunch more planets and a lot of variation that way. But that's it for this week's video um if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have questions ask them in the comments below and uh, for you and you your question um, the paint program i'm using is gimp it's free it's open source and but any paint program works um, and no i can't teach you pixel art um, you need to be able to draw to create pixel art. Pixel art isn't magic or anything. If you can't draw with pen and paper, you most likely won't be able to draw pixel art either because it's still art. It's actually in the name pixel art. It's You have to be able to draw. And I could draw before I did pixel art. And I've, I'm doing pixel art because I grew up in the 80s with computers that could only do pixel art because we only had displays that were that tiny. A little bit anyway um, that's why i'm doing pixel art so um those are just two questions you don't have to ask gimp and yes you need to be able to draw and no i can't teach you um for all other questions drop them below and i'll see you next week bye